So we love to work with industry. In fact, we pride ourselves on the fact that all of our research has applications out in the real world. A good demonstration of this was a few years ago, we worked with analog devices. Dr. Jurgen Michel and Professor Kimmerling demonstrated that germanium is, can be made in a very high quality format, such that they can be used in photo detectors. Analog Devices was interested in that, and there was a very good collaboration for a few years, and now Analog Devices actually makes devices using the germanium made in our labs. So that kind of a partnership is something that we look forward to, where there's a win-win situation for the researchers as well as for industry. So industry can use the research to their benefit, for their profits, and researchers can go on doing things and inventing things that will improve the quality of life in general. It's very helpful when the industrial partner realizes that research is not something that can deliver a product right away. They have to be patient and take the research slowly, step by step, to the product that they desire. For example, our sensors can do multiple things. They can span many different fields. However, if someone out there is a food quality sense, sensing expert and needs that, or water company, and they need water quality monitoring, well, then we have to take our sensor work and mold it so that it fits the industry. So it's a long-term partnership, and that's what we're looking for, is a long-term partnership where both the researcher and industry will benefit. The sensing work that I do in collaboration with Professor JJ Hu at Department of uh, Material Science and Engineering involves sensing mid-wave and long-wave infrared bands on chip. And this is the beauty of chemical sensing on chip can we make sensors that originally occupied a bench top and put it on a chip that's two centimeters square? Yes, we can do that. What we envision is when we miniaturize everything, that leads to low cost, high volume manufacturing. That in turn leads to the ability to create wide sensor networks. That can be monitoring almost everything in life, starting with food, water, air, light, everything can be monitored with these networks of sensors.